Hello my Capricorn friends, it's Guiding Halo here and this is going to be a middle of July snapshot for you. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. For those who have not, please do so. If it resonates, please leave a comment below. I'm going to do get back to everybody. Alright, so this is about anything. Whatever comes up. Could be money, could be love, could be any old thing. Mid-July snapshot. Let's see what we got going on for my Kappa Rick Warren friends. I hope I said Capricorn already. I'm concerned. Hang on a minute. I'll look. Yay, I said Capricorn. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, see what we got going on here. And my Capricorn friends, middle of July. We have the Three of Pentacles, the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, being a team player. It's about wanting to work together with people learning and growing towards what? Your Ten of Cups? Beautiful. So this is about a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotion, emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Well, that's beautiful. Let's pull it down a little bit here, Halo. Get this so people can see the cards. All right. Let's see about this Three of Pentacles. Do you guys want to end this whole working together thing with somebody? Maybe there's something ended and you're just like, I don't know about this. Yeah, something definitely ended there. Look at that. Feeling stabbed in the back. But there is a creative way to handle this. And you're going to be recognized for the high quality work you do. I wonder if someone's job ended. There's that Three of Pentacles again. Learning, working, growing together, being a team player. Something you waited for for a long time. I'm guessing this could be recognition on the job front. And that you thought maybe it's best just to get out while the getting's good. Possibly. Buckling down, getting that work done. I see you putting in the time and effort regardless of if there's been lying, cheating, stealing, or wanting to vanish and just run away. But you're all up in your head about it. So we have eights here. You guys need to Google eights and see what that means for you. Eights and threes. Give me some more insight here, please. Perhaps you ended something that you waited a very long time to end. And you're using a creative way to move forward. You've got out well, the getting's good. And you're going to put the work into dealing with your own self. This is, or you're all up in your head about whether you should put the work in towards dealing with your own self and ending something. Maybe you're just not sure you want to be a team player right now anymore. You're just like so done with it. I see you going inward, however, to get clarity. And you will get those messages from the divine or from somebody else as well when you do go inward. This is a self-imposed hanging. It's something karmic you're dealing with here. You could be dealing with somebody's shadow side or, or dealing with some very negative behavior and energy. Someone who's been in and out of your life at a fast pace, fast, furious, ferocious pace. Back and forth with these messages and it's caused confusion perhaps. Caused you all up in your head and you're like, you know what? Just take your messages and... Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. And then, you know, I'm going to go and ask the divine for, for clarity and ask God for clarity. <laughs> There's that clarity coming. Unfortunately, you're looking, you're going to have to wade through some emotional waters to get to that crown on the other side. And I think you're just going to focus on your work and buckle down and get the work done. Even though you're all up in your head about this other situation ship, whatever that is. Having to deal with the emperor. So this could be a boss, a CEO, a father type figure, a judge even. This could also be a lawyer. But I more so see this as a person that makes the decisions, not the person that fights for the decisions. So Ten of Cups, rewarding family life. We have someone coming in to make an apology for something that was said perhaps or done. A situation that was left to do with the lovers so maybe it was a choice in love and someone feels they made the wrong choice they're going to make it take that leap of faith towards an apology and see what happens your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships this could be a new someone coming in too that you're excited about and think that you know they might end up being the one but things are not as they seem here 
you feel like there's secrets going on. There's things being kept from you. If this is a work scenario, yeah, you don't trust this person per se. If this is love, I don't think you trust them either. What's the divine got to say about it? Yeah, well, yeah, you don't trust something going on there. Someone's trying to hand you an offer that I think you're going to snub. You might want to take that leap of faith when someone apologizes. Or maybe you want to take that leap of faith and apologize, but something's going to be snubbed here. I'll tell you that much. We got a big old offer coming straight from the hand of the divine. Twice. We've got something that looks a little small on the emotional side, but it looks pretty big. Maybe there's an offer coming your way, and you're like... No, I ain't trusting that crap. Are you kidding me? I'm being stabbed in the back, lying, cheating, stealing, someone sitting there in their shadow side. I ain't trusting that crap. Maybe the divine's asking you to take a second look. Yeah, the divine's asking you to take a second look. Something you thought was dead. I think you've been wandering around in darkness and confusion for a little while. Whoever this reading's for, my cappy friends. But there is a big old fat offer coming here for you straight from the hand of the divine. And it's beautiful. Look at that. Something you can work with. Something you've already spent the time learning and growing about. Growing your uh, knowledge base in and your skill level. Oh yeah. It's about your ships are coming in. See them in the harbor and you're just waiting for them to dock. And you have everything in your arsenal to make this happen. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So why don't you trust it? What's it about? What What is it about that moon card right now? Is it divine timing until all things are revealed? Why don't you trust it? You're holding on tight to your pentacles. Maybe you're investing your pentacles and there's a marriage or commitment contract situation you need to enter in order to invest your money into something but you're not sure it's the right route to take ah hmm interesting so we have absolute battle this is a bloody battle and someone being all smug about it i don't think someone's happy your ships are coming in maybe you're taking that leap of faith to give someone an offer because you know it's going to bring happiness my happy friends And they're all like, this is not what it seems. But the divine is saying, I am bringing this about here. And they're still, uh-uh. And you're like, uh-huh. Yeah, can't you see it? And they're all like, nuh-uh. <laughs> I'm holding on to my money, thank you. And you're like, yeah, but can't you see the magic that can happen? And then maybe maybe they're all nuh-uhs and all your uh-huhs are maybe starting to make you a little conflicted about what you should do as well. Then we have the end of the cycle and start of a new one. So that's beautiful. Let's see what happens. Ending of the cycle and starting of a new one. So what happens after this new cycle starts? What's happening with that Ace of Pentacles? we got a bloody battle here going on, whether it's within or without. We have the Queen of Cups. So relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. And we have the Knight of Water. Okay, this is emotional. Holy Hannah. Look at all of this water and emotion. All the blue on the table here. My goodness. Someone's definitely making decisions about falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions an invitation to a social event. Maybe someone's trying to convince you guys to be committed in a relationship in an emotional way. And you're like, nah, -uh. and they're like, uh huh. Or it's vice versa. You're like, uh huh. And they're like, nah, -uh. I tried this been there, done that work together thing, learning together thing. And I could get me all up in my head about that crap. And now I'm sitting here in hangman mode and I'm dealing with shadow crap and well, we got people of two minds here. One person's yeah, huh? And the other person's nah, uh You take it as it resonates. So, advice from the angels. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Well, there you have it, my friends. A happy addition, huh, Cappies? Someone going to have a baby? Someone in your family, whether it's a sister, brother, it could be a person you're in love with, is going to come to you and either tell you 
and it's just as this happened that you are going to be a mommy or daddy or grandma or grandpa or auntie or uncle or they're going to ask you to be a god mom or godfather i truly believe that that's beautiful and look at that the wheel of fortune sets in my friend it's justice that this happened the divine is trying to bring balance to a scenario and the wheel of fortune spins in your favor and then we have the strength card. It's going to take great strength for you to deal with this. Great strength. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> Challenging information, I'd say. All up in your head about it, I'd say. Yeah, nine of swords. There we go. There's that all up in your head about it card. Stressless nights, sleep, stress, worry, anxiety, all that good, not so good stuff. And then we have the three of wands again. Things looking very good very good i mean things are taking a positive turn your ships are in the harbor and then we have somebody coming in who could be a light worker or somebody who's just very spiritually inclined to give information or give you possibly a different way of looking at it with the magician here again a different way to create and bring this all to fruition for yourself there's your guys's energy very nurturing grounded stable Concerned about your pentacles and concerned about being what? That ace of swords, the truth. You're concerned about the truth coming out. I wonder if someone thinks that this child that's coming into the world is not theirs or is not their blood. I wonder if they think there's been nefarious nonsense or something. There's definitely a battle and I think there's people that are holding on tight to a situation ship here. But there is going to be an end to this cycle. A truth is going to be spoken. And it's going to be beautiful on the outset of it. And this here is someone coming as a gift to you from the divine to bring you this information. Okay? Something you can take forward with you for a very long time. So that's that, my Capricorn friends. If it resonates, leave a message down below. If it doesn't, go ahead and leave a message down below with you. I'm perfectly okay with that. I hope you guys have a great mid-July. Blessings.